changed up Step my game up When you bring my name up They gon' say I came up It's Sweetie C, your Sweetie C With locks of love from African's perspective What's up, how you doing today? Hope everyone's having a blessed day I'd like to say welcome to all my Noah Hollas And all my new Noah Hollas Today we're going to get into this video. I'm going to do a reaction to these Portland um, protests. Yes, the Portland protests, if you're not aware of them, yo, they're still ongoing and they're getting bowdy out there. This is y'all this is just proud boys and black lives matter protests y'all fighting each other is is really not needed but i from my understanding it's the proud boys and the right wingers who came out to start art art who came out to start a altercation with uh the black lives matter protesters and why isn't anybody covering this Oh, I know why. Because the bugger boy finds out he's going to try to send out soldiers. Wait a second. But they already know this is going on. So where's the police? Why are y'all allowing this to escalate to this level? This is ridiculous. <laughs> One thing I like about this whole situation is that they're fighting, uh, there's no guns involved. Unfortunately, this is not something that can go on in Texas, in my state, because we got too many guns out here. Let's keep it going. Y'all have gas masks. Look, matter of fact, where can we get all of this equipment like is there a bundle online where we can just order uh gear in case we have a riot outbreak because i need a shield i need a bulletproof vest um i probably need an additional weapon but hey you don't need to know about that uh yeah and i need a gas mask i need a helmet i need all this shit just in case shit go down like this in texas it's always good to have um a plan and it looks like we all need riot gear and a shield these days because we're going back to what is this 1950s, uh, 1960s or something? <laughs> I received this video from this thread, Joshua Potash. He says, please pay attention to Portland right now. Proud Boys and other far right people are macing, swinging pipes, shooting paintballs, and generally attacking Black Lives Matter protesters and police who declare a riot when Black Lives Matter protests every night are letting it happen. Real talk. Real talk. I honestly can't believe I'm looking at these fools out here like this. This is just insane. Completely insane. walking past you mind her own damn business she was able to restrain herself from touching your ass so why are you touching her what is up with y'all racist white folks 
Y'all are such cowards. Y'all shoot black men behind the back. You try to show how tough you are by intimidating, taking a sign from a black woman. Is your ball size small? Is that what it is? Y'all have a little ball complex. I really think racist white folks want to be with black women, but they can't because they have to appear racist. I think they really want to be with a black woman, but we don't want your ass because your ass don't make no sense. You just do stupid shit like you just did right now. <laughs> I like how everyone stepped up to try to gather this woman back because she was going all in on this racist white ass. And that's what you get when you don't mind your own damn business. Yo, they got them sprays out, don't they? I don't know what type of spray it is, but it's, it's some get your motherfucking ass away from me spray. That's the kind of spray I need. Get your motherfucking ass away from me spray. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Does it look like the Black Lives Matter protesters actually moving forward while these racist, proud boys, rednecks, bunker boys are moving backwards? <laughs> they <like> cowards, <laughs> weak asses. <laughs> Yeah, they pushing their asses back. That's what they doing. They pushing y'all ugly asses back. That's what you get. Yo, this is really a sad situation. Oh my goodness, I don't want to go through this. I don't want to be in a protest, be fighting back and forth. I am not that type of woman. I'm the type of woman I like to go out, like to enjoy life, meet different people, and go home to my own life, my own business. I don't need no racist white folks saying shit to me uh, for no damn reason. I appreciate the good white people. We have a lot of good white people in Texas. Y'all have been very nice to me. Y'all have been, y'all y'all have communicated with me. I don't think y'all know who I am. Shit, I ain't got that many subscribers yet. But I can't stand these racist white folks. So push their ass back. Why are they even in Portland anyway? So that lets me know that this has something to do with Bunker Boy and, and the Republicans. Did they send out a memo to these wackos to come to a whole different state and start some mess? Y'all ain't got nothing else better to do? This is really sad. This is really sad to have to see this in 2020. <laughs> They gear. Yo, I am so fascinated with the Black Lives Matter protesters gear. You know, shout out to Hong Kong for sending us, you know, what it is we need during a protest because we got that from y'all. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I'm able to end this video with some good news that the asses got pushed the hell back and they didn't come to Portland and punk nobody. Portland told y'all asses to get the fuck out. And that's what the Proud Boys and the Right Wingers and the Bunker Boys, they all need to do is get their asses out of Portland and leave them folks alone and let them deal with what's going on in their own state. As far as the police, y'all just... This is just disgusting. Like, y'all, what are y'all doing out here? Everyone sees the hot mess these police are. They're clearly favoring a political party. Y'all ain't got no heroes in the police department at all. What the hell are y'all doing? Ooh, child. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk.